Poi Mews. By the sea, one would expect to be visited, nurtured by the muse. The early symphony of sun, sky, bird song, by the breath of a bass whispering in the warm feather night. By intimations of the primeval, everlasting conjunction of surf and sand, the magnificent prodigality of nature. The muse, however, seems mostly coy, reluctant even, to inspire in words what the heart perceives in undiluted passion. Sophistication. He woke up after long sleep surrounded by dark eve. Outside, the wind was dust dry, the sky was overcast. Inside there were no lights, no electric gleam, only shadows rustling and the ancient drapes stirred by sudden draft. Once the world had been suddenly bright, translucent in pristine, glorious innocence, before the tuggings of the heart yanked him into the world, the original fall. He went from room to room, soft sobbing in the dusk, yearning for the glamour of ancient days, before the sadness of sophistication turned skies to grey. Mirage Outside the night breathes and titillates in a puddle of starlight, sweetly scented, soft and feminine. Inside, apparitions rise and disappear, instants flicker in shadow land. Outside the night is an enormous utterance in an alien tongue. Here, we move inside the hour. There is no end, no beginning. Just the rustle of sighs when our bodies meet. Moment of Freedom I left you in your secret chambers of doubt and desire. A moment of freedom, a chance to write to work in your life. Here under a canopy of limpid blue, laughter and voices like lithe animal cries, children rock back and forth on red rough hammock beneath massive emerald foliage of ancient oak, bows high as the leprous mossy towers of the ruined 16th century church still standing. Ruins refuse to die in midst of green world. Spirit of life, the wind sways jade color leaves into a rustle of sighs. Whisperings of the ancient garden, children's chatter. Up in the sky, a lone cloud casually wanders by. Everything moves. Inside, all's still. Inside, nothing stirs. Inside, the great mystery. Inside. There is no wind. Dark flame. Every day she must build the world anew. Reconstruct the airy surfaces, the solid ground, light out of unlight. Every day she must give birth to sun and cloud, the sway of trees under russet skies, the summer breeze, summer itself, all the summers in all the seasons of her life. Every day she must populate the world, her world, with faces, gestures, countenances, each unique, like and yet unlike her own, impenetrable just like her own. Every day she must bear the fruit of night in daylight, the dark flame of language, history, and all her ghastly possessions. 
Every day she must make, unmake the prisons that she makes, because she's human born and cannot do otherwise. And every day she must struggle to be free, or not to be at all, herself made and unmade by other stranger lips. Metaphysical Musings Though nothing can bring back the hour of splendor in the grass, of glory in the flower, we will grieve not, rather find a strength in what remains behind. William Wordsworth You sit at your desk pondering on time, as the sunset smile glow dies on the grass down below. You strive for the golden rhyme, the truth binding room, why all things must pass in this world of mortality, below the glow of the moon. Why life is consumed like your cigarette fire? Why we all grow old and fade, like Yorick, deep into gloom? But the dark yawning gap between this life and death, no mere flesh-bound mortal can light, nor ever escape life's sorrowful strife. Better treasure your life, seek beauty and right, make your life divine, that's the golden rhyme, and your best poem ever to transcend time. Sundown. The old granny sits on the curb of the street, talking to the breeze that plays on her hair. A rustle of leaves in the wind whisper a dirge as they fall on the ground, rusted in orange and golden hue. She talks to the wind, to some absent presence she sees in the clouds of her eyes. There is no one here, only a solitary garbage truck on its way to oblivion. Her voice carries the wind, inhabits the streets she has wandered since time immemorial. Tomorrow she will be here, talking to the wind, in her eternal mystery of ragged phrases and paper bags, wandering like a spirit of the streets where she's left the memories of her youth. I stop by her side and give her a coin to buy the old cigarettes she still loves to smoke. Only pleasure left in the wandering, desolate deserts of her evening sundown. A shard of moon. In common daylight, words become punk bubbles, corruptible shells, cease to ignite. The poet then must restore their lambent brilliance, their supernal flame, till they sparkle in the night, exploding starlight. In the poet's lines, all words burn and touch lips, light the world within, reclaim their implacable radiance to show a world in a shard of moonlight. No 